2 refers to example 1. It says we're supposed to identify if in examples 1, A through C, if there is a reduced equivalent ratio, and if so, what the ratio is. Now that sounds like a lot, but all they're really asking you is can you reduce it like a fraction, and if so, what would that reduced form be? So back over in A, we wrote out that there was three pineapples to six apples. Well, I can reduce three and six. I can divide three out of each of them. So I could also write it as one pineapple to two apples. That's all I did. I just reduced it like I would reduce a fraction. If it said three over six, I'd reduce it to one over two. That's what I did right there. All right? Take a look at B. Five oranges over ten grapefruit. Can I reduce that? Yes, what can it reduce to? What's the top number? Huh? It's a fraction. You've got to reduce it like a fraction. It doesn't just reduce to two. Who knows? Five over ten reduces to what over what? Nick? Be yes, it can. Five over ten. Oh, oh, one half. One over two, exactly. Okay, I can rewrite it as one orange over two grapefruit. All right, last one. Ten grapefruit to three pineapples. Ten grapefruit to three pineapples. Can that be reduced? Haley? Nope. Nope, can't be reduced. Okay, next one. And I don't know if this is a real answer, real numbers. I just made it up. It could be right. I don't know. Probably not. Don't answer. There are two children born per minute in Indiana. Find equivalent ratios <coughs> for hour, day, and year. There are two children born per minute in Indiana. Find equivalent ratios for hour, day, year. All right. So you can see next to hour, I already wrote out there's two children born per minute. Now, if I want to find out about an hour, what I really need to find out is about 60 minutes because there's 60 minutes in an hour. So I want to turn this into something over 60. When we get from 1 to 60, got to multiply by 60. So I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the top. Multiply by 60. And we get 120. So there's 120 children born every 60 minutes or every hour in Indiana. All right, now when I carry that information down, I'm just going to write it a little bit differently. I'm going to say 120 children for every one hour. Again, these are the same thing. I just changed 60 minutes to an hour. Now, if I want to know about a day, how many hours do I really want to know about? All right, I want to know about 24 hours. So I'm changing 1 into 24. I'm multiplying by 24. So I've got 120 times 24, that's 2,880 children. 2,880 children born every 24 hours. All right. Now, last one I've got to find out about is a year. We know now about a day. So I'm going to change it just like I did from here to here. I'm going to say 2,880 children. Born per day. Now, if I want to get to a year, a regular year, not a leap year, not an experience like that, point old year, how many days do I really want to know about? 365. 365, exactly. So to get from 1 to 365, I'm multiplying by 365. 
same on the top. And that gives me 105,200 200 children born per year. into a one. You're familiar with unit rates because when you go to the store, when you drive around, you see things in unit rates all the time. We buy gas in terms of, or the price of gas is given in terms of unit rate. It's 309 for per gallon or for one gallon. Since that bottom number is one, that's what makes it a unit rate. If you go to the grocery store and buy a pound of ham, it might be 629 per pound for one pound. That's a unit rate. Okay, if you go buy fruit, buy a bag of oranges, it's 229 for a pound, so 229 for one pound. That's what makes it a unit rate. So this one we're told Jesse runs <laughs> six laps in 10 minutes. We've got to write that as a unit rate. Okay. So we've got all the information we already need, six laps in 10 minutes. Now I want to change the bottom number into one, or I want to know about how far Jesse runs in one minute. We'll go from 10 to 1, you've got to divide by 10. So I'm just going to divide by 10 on top, and you get 0. 0.6. 0. 0.6 laps in one minute. This example will show you how old these notes are. Miss Albert spends 1870 to fill an 11 gallon gas tank. Salver spends 1870 to fill an 11 gallon gas tank. All right, so $18.70 over 11 gallons. I want to know about one gallon, which means I have to divide by 11. I really did change this. And when I take 1870 and divide it by 11, I get 170. So it's going to cost you a dollar seventy for one gallon. Wow. Don't we all wish? 